Hey, good afternoon. Um, I'm Dr. Samara Saro, and I'm a faculty member in the um, Pacific College's Holistic Nursing Program. And I'm here with a colleague and a student from the program. We're just going to go around and introduce ourselves and um, feature um, our lovely student, uh, Megan, on Spotlight for April. Would you like to introduce yourself? Um... Yes, hello, I'm Dr. Mitzi Myers. I'm another faculty in the nursing program at Pacific College. And I'm very honored to be here today with Dr. Samira and with our student that we're spotlighting, Megan. And uh, I'm privileged to um, teach Megan in a course of uh, issues and trends this term. And she's done an outstanding job and uh, we are here to highlight all of her work and uh, her progress here at Pacific College. And my name is Megan Moody, and this is my first semester at Pacific College. I'm really excited to be a part of this program. Um, so I've actually, I've been a nurse for 16 years. I am from Indianapolis, Indiana, which is where I began my nursing career. I graduated from an associate's degree program at a community college um, in my hometown and worked for about four years before deciding I wanted to do travel nursing. So I took a travel nurse position in San Diego, California at Rady Children's Hospital. And I have worked, worked there for like 10 years um, on the pediatric hematology oncology unit. Um, and it's been, you know, just the trajectory of my nursing career and all, all the experiences that I've had and all the things that I've learned. Um, and in that time, really uh, connecting with, especially what I believe is the core essence of like caring within nursing. Um, and I really got to connect in that space uh, in my, you know, in my role as a pediatric oncology nurse and really just forming relationships with my patients and the families, holding space during really difficult times, uh, being a support for them, educating them, providing them with all the tools that they need um, as they kind of move through this journey of illness and, and hopefully back into health again. Um, so in the last three or four years, I had decided that I wanted to go back to school. And so now here I am at Pacific College. So I'm really excited to be here with you guys today. <laughs> Thank you for that lovely introduction. You've had quite the journey in nursing, some very challenging clinical environments. Well, we're so happy that you found Pacific. Can you tell us a little bit about what initially drew you to Pacific College of Health and Science? Yes, so actually I've known about Pacific College for quite a while. I know many people have, who have gone through the acupuncture program, so I've always known about this college and always had a really good reputation, but I never knew that they had a nursing program. Um, so when I initially started going back to school, um, I knew that in order to advance my degree, I would need to complete a bachelor's program. So I, and I knew that I wanted to do online because I have an eight-year-old daughter at home and been working. And so I knew that doing something online was going to be really accommodating for my schedule and would work really well for me. So I got on Google and was Googling and lo and behold, Pacific College came up. And so I clicked and found that they had this BS or this RN to BSN program, which was like, oh my gosh, just so perfect. Um, and not only was that what I needed, but also because this program offers through the perspective of holism, which is something that is so near and dear to my heart um, because it's interesting, like in my role as a nurse, um, self-care has become such a highlight for me, obviously, you know, being able to fill the cup back up after you go and pour out for others. Um, and so, you know, a lot of holistic modalities have kind of come into my path, like yoga, meditation, essential oils, all those things. And so, and to know like, okay, it's perfect because I 
need to do this bachelor's program, but it's also through this lens of holism. So it's everything that I need and it's something that just resonates so deeply with me on a soul level and things that I want to share with others. So I was really excited when I found the program. Wonderful. Yeah, self-care is a huge um, focus in our program. Uh, right, Dr. Mitzi, wouldn't you say that's a very important piece? Yeah. Um, yes, it is. It is. And, um, you know, our, our aim is that our students will learn that while they're getting their education so that as you continue in practice, uh, it will help sustain you through out your practice and the challenges that that sometimes brings. Absolutely. I loved the um, phrase that you used of filling the cup back up after you've poured out, as we know, especially in um, today's nursing climate. Um, it is so important um, in order to prevent burnout and um, so, um, we know this is your first <laughs> semester, um, uh, what aspects so far have you found valuable in your educational journey? Well, first of all, like I mentioned, just the fact that it's um, an online program has been incredibly beneficial for me, and I feel like the way that it's set up it's still very supported. I don't feel like I'm by myself just trying to get through this program. I feel incredibly supported by my faculty, especially both of you. You both have been amazing and I have so much gratitude for the support that I've received from you. And even, um, you know, like Dr. Lombard, she's been, I just feel like incredibly supportive. Um, an example that I have of that is um, just like knowing what classes I needed to enroll for next semester they set up a, a zoom to help us like it, it just every step of the way it's feel i feel like i'm being set up for success and i feel like i'm being very supported and especially for me um you know coming back to school after 16 years i was a little nervous because i'm like i feel, feel a little rusty but i just feel like i've been incredibly supported and set up for success through just from day one even the admissions process um, everybody's been so good. The, the communication is so clear and so supportive. Um, the 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 information that I'm learning has been amazing. I definitely feel like I'm getting what I need to fulfill that requirement for my bachelor's degree. But the things that I'm learning, you know, just another example in the theory class, just these nursing theories, it's, I just feel like I'm a little sponge soaking up all this beautiful information. And the things like from issues and trends, like the Planetary Health Task Force Committee that I've been able to be a part of through this, it's just all these opportunities that feel so nourishing for my soul, but they're also supporting my education. So it's just been an amazing journey so far. And I just love, love, love this program. How lovely. Um, it sounds like it's been a rich experience for you. Um, I know that um, in the theory class, uh, you've been doing quite a bit of writing, I'm sure in issues and trends also, <laughs> you do quite a bit of writing. Um, and uh, you've been out of school for 16 years, but your writing would not um, reveal that gap of time because um, you write really beautifully and have expressed yourself really beautifully um, in these assignments. And one in particular kind of stands out a little bit, a personal philosophy of holism. Um, and, you know, seeing students take in this information and then make it their own is quite exciting, I think, for us as faculty. Is there anything you'd like to say about particular assignments that you found meaningful in both classes? Well, I just, in general, the writing has been 
one of, it's been my favorite part of this journey so far. I've always loved writing. Um, I journal a lot, so I do a lot of writing in that way. And I dabbled in a little bit of blogging. Um, but to bring in this piece of like integrating knowledge, it's just been very like enlightening for me. Um, and this paper, you know, the personal philosophy of holism paper, um, so the title of the paper is We Are the Entire Diamond. And I guess, you know, we were talking about self-care and how all of this kind of interweaves and just the idea that we are these diamonds. And it's through this um, perspective of holism because we have all these different fa facets, just like a diamond. We have all these different facets. And it's composed of all these different aspects of us. And it's like, you know, for me, sometimes I would feel like I would have to like switch on and off my hats and I would be just kind of pigeonhole myself into this one facet and kind of compartmentalize myself in a way. And, you know, and through the perspective of holism, it's like we're all of the things all at the same time. And so it's like I'm a mother, I'm a nurse, I'm a student, I'm a wife, I'm a daughter and so much more. And so that's kind of the idea behind this diet and how supporting people and kind of being all of these aspects all at one time and how you know it's like when one aspect is kind of off or imbalanced it affects the whole and it's like when we are at our optimal wellness it's like all the facets are bright and shining we and we are bright and we shine and that's kind of that light that we share with people and especially in times right now with what the world is going through it's like we need all of us to like shine like that because that's what's going to really help humanity get through this i think and i think as nurses and i dr mitzi and i kind of talked about this before um as nurses i feel like we have that special role to shine that light for people right now you know and so and be able and being able to share this knowledge with others um, is one of those ways I think that we can do that. So that's kind of the, you know, the inspiration behind that paper and, you know, all the nursing theorists that I really admire. Yeah. That's beautiful, Megan, uh, just your description is really um, inspiring to, I'm sure, students and faculty. Um, it's just such a beautiful way to take all the different roles that you have uh, in your personal and professional life and um, just have it transcend, really, I think. And uh, how wonderful that you have felt supportive uh, from the time of enrollment uh, until now through your coursework. Uh, I think that's really important to students who are uh, either thinking about being in a nursing program or are comparing different programs, or maybe want to go to school but a little leery about it. I think you've given them a wonderful description of what your experience has been so far and what it can be. Agreed. <laughs> um, so <clears throat> as you move through this program, um, have you given some thought as to your aspirations professionally in terms of applying your education or the path forward? Yes, so I'm definitely, definitely planning on continuing through the master's degree program at Pacific College. I, as of day one, I was already convinced, yes, I'm going to go forward. And just even moments like this, it's like signs from the universe, like, yes, this is it. This is it. Keep going. Um, I foresee myself doing uh, maybe at least within the master's degree role, um, something like nurse coaching, because I really do love working in that space one on one with people people and like I love holding space for people and um, providing encouragement and education and tools and I 
Um, and, you know, even just some of the tools I've learned kind of outside of nursing, like I've gone through yoga teacher training. And um, so I have like these little pieces that I would like to pull in. Um, but I definitely also um, feel inclined to maybe even consider going through uh, my doctorate because um, I really love research and I really love writing. I'm a writing geek, I guess. And now that I know that there's a lot of writing coming forward, I was like really excited <laughs> about that. So, um, and, and I've had a uh, previous experience doing research in my role as a bedside nurse. I was involved in a lot of you know, quality improvement projects and an evidence-based practice. And I've had experience doing IRB applications and kind of that research process. So now that it's, it's like the spark has been lit with like, you know, all the things that I'm learning this, even just this first semester, you know, um, it's definitely like, wow, I can, I see how I can like apply all of these things. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. And I'm, you know, also staying open to what else comes my way. Cause it's like, this is just like the beginning. And I'm just really excited to see what just presents itself, what unfolds. Um, yeah. And just kind of, having that like surrender and trust in the process so yeah it's really exciting <laughs> i know that makes our hearts very happy to hear <laughs> that you're thinking about um you know continuing and um certainly in doctoral programs in nursing whether it's a phd or a dnp you'll really get to um, enjoy the writing process a lot so I love that you surrender to the universe and just let you know just go with the flow and let that energy take you uh it takes a lot of trust I think and courage to do that because I, I try to do that in, in my life too so that's wonderful that you are already um you know, possessing those skills and have that awareness and, and have the um, urge to, to go forth with your education because, you know, nurses are lifelong learners. So that's wonderful to hear. It certainly is. And um, do you, um, Megan, have any other thoughts or ideas or Anything you'd like to, to share that we, we didn't kind of touch on? Um, just, I have so, feel so much gratitude, honestly. Um, it's such an honor to be here, an honor to be in this program, uh, an honor to just be among such wonderful, like-minded people. Um, and I'm deeply, deeply, deeply grateful for like literally every person that I have encountered along this journey because I, like I said, I just feel so immensely supported. And you know, this, I mean, me being in school, me finally taking that step to come back to school was kind of a long time coming and, you know, it heralds great change in my life. And this is deeply important for me to, to be in this journey right now. And I just feel like just synchronicity that I'm here, that this program is here. And it just like aligned so perfectly. Um, and yeah, I'm just like, really excited for what's to come, you know? So I'm just, yeah, very, very, very thankful. We're thankful for you too, and that you found us. <laughs> and thank you for sharing your time and your story with us and with um, other students, your peers and other prospective students, other nurses. I, you, you mentioned earlier shining your light and you've done that through this interview. So thank you. Yeah, it's been a real privilege um, having you in class and I so look forward to following your journey forward. Um, and, you know, we also have the privilege of um, publishing your um, paper about your personal philosophy polism in the newsletter. 
So that'll be available for folks to uh, read about We Are the Diamond. <laughs> so thank you so much. Um, this has been fun and enlightening. And you are the Spotlight student of April. Okay, well, that concludes our interview. Thank you again, everyone. <laughs>